Today's video, you will learn how to wire a Mitsubishi FX Series PLC. Also we are going to make a simple ladder program, and we will upload it to the PLC and test. This is Mitsubishi FX Series PLC. It has a 24 digital inputs, and 24 relay outputs. Voltage supply is AC 110, to 220 volts. Looking closer on the terminal. These two terminals L and N, is for power supply terminal. Here, you can connect your AC power supply. And these two terminals. S slash S terminal, and zero volts terminal should be connected together. The S slash S terminal is used to configure the unit's inputs, for syncing or sourcing signals all at once. This terminal is 24 volts, and we need it to be our potential voltage across the input's devices. Inputs to, and outputs from. Both inputs and outputs can be categorized into two basic types. It can be digital or analog. Enable to upload or download PLC program, we will use GXWorks 2 software, and communication cable to communicate PC to the PLC. First let's connect the 220 power supply. The S slash S, and 0 volts jumper wire. And the wire for 24 volts potential for the inputs. Then, connect the communication cable to the provided port, and connect it to the laptop via USB. Now, all things are ready, let's open up GXWorks 2 software to begin. On the menu bar, click on line. And then click red from PLC. After that, a drop down box will pop up. Click drop down arrow, and choose FX CPU. Now, we are in transfer control window. Here, we will configure the connection from PC to PLC. As we are using USB, let's click USB button. As you can see, communication port is set to COM1. To verify the port, let's open device manager and check. The communication cable was connected to port 3. Meaning, we have to change the port setting from COM1, to COM3. Otherwise, we will not able to connect the PLC to the PC. OK, PLC is now connected to PC. Online data operation window will appear. On this window, check the program file box, and click execute button to read the program from the PLC. Wait till the progress bar reach 100%. There you go, software successfully read the program in the PLC. On the toolbar, click drop down arrow and choose program. And then, on the next drop down arrow, click main. A simple program with open contact, and a coil output. When open contact was energized, Coil output will energize too. Let's go on to the PLC and trigger X1 terminal. Pointing on the 24 volts wire to X1 terminal will energize output Y1. As you can see in the light indicator. It seems like too many lights are activated, it's only reflection of light to the other indicator. Let's put a latching contact to the program, so that even we de-energize input X1. Output Y1 will stay energized. Before, we read the program to the PLC to download. Now, we write the program to the PLC to upload. To do this, click the online in menu bar, and then click write to PLC. The same thing in downloading, click on the execute button to write the program to the PLC.
Wait till the progress bar reach 100%. Writing of program is done. Modified program is already uploaded to the PLC. Let's go back to the PLC and test. As you can see, as we energize input X1, output Y1 will energize. And when to energize X1, output Y1 will stay energize, because of the latching contact we added in the program. Let's take a little closer. Here are some factors that you should check, during uploading and downloading program to the PLC, even in operation. Number 1, power indicator should be lighted. It means, PLC is powered up and it's ready to operate. Number 2, run light indicator. In run mode, the CPU is processing the inputs and outputs, solving the loaded program during each CPU scan. When downloading program in the PLC, Run mode should be on. But when uploading program, run mode should be off. By doing this, adjust the selector switch located besides communication port. Please consider giving this video a thumbs up. Every time you hit the like button, you help us growing our channel. Subscribe as well to notify you when there's new video uploaded. Thank you very much and have a good day.